my name is Ramsey, and welcome back to Dicey Dungeons. We're going to be doing the fourth again for the robot, because our success with this happened in what can only be described as off-camera. It was on-camera at the time, and then I straight up deleted it. <sighs> I'll never know why I did that. Oh, it's a minimum of three, of course. And we've had pretty poor rolls so far. Oh, God. The yeah, enemy gets the largest number they can. I just see it. All right. We've set up an auto roll for the next combat at the absolute least. Hope we don't have to use it. Increase the jackpot range this turn. All right. Let's try and go for the full jackpot build, I guess. Did it! Oh no! I was aiming for magic, but this outcome is closer to tragic. <laughs> no. Two extra CPU will uh, be pretty. Pretty handy, I feel. All right. Pirate in order to get the chest. I'm plundering the booty, friend. Yeah, there was there was no point in going for anything else there, I don't feel. Uh, although, knowing the enemy has access to two cannon fires, maybe I should have water rolled. Final order roll for a one. Just because the enemy's going to give us the old what for anyway. We'll go for that, and then I'm going to regenerate health at the end of the fight, and then kill. <sighs> Leaves me without an auto roll going to the next combat, but we do get the mechanical arm. I'm happy to see you, friend. You can save me against all of the worst rolls that I keep doing. No, or I'm dead right now. It does legitimately feel like not all of the elimination rounds, uh, that is to say, not all of the times you play elimination round are uh, winnable. That's not, again, to say that I played that perfectly. I definitely didn't. I still have a lot more to learn about the game. But especially given how often you can die really, really early on, it feels like there are just straight up circumstances where, sorry, today wasn't your day. Which is a little touch of a concern for me. <laughs> it can certainly do the inverse, mind. I'm definitely not discounting that possibility. Like here, we get through without taking any. Well, aren't you a little try hard? A touch, yeah. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it's a problem if you take things way too seriously. Sure, but I don't think that could be said about me. At least in games. Most games. <laughs> Just gonna constantly walk that statement back until I've effectively said nothing. Healing to HP when I'm already full is nothing. And some constant good rolls here. So is the rose, though. Thankfully, it's not enough. It could have been if the first fight had gone slightly better for my enemies.
Yeah, six is currently unusable. I'd really like the Buster Sword, so if I could just level up one more time, video game, please. That's my bad. I should have utilized each of the die before I risked it. I've specifically been trying to drill into my head that if you have any chance of overloading, you have to try and hit. And I completely ignored it there. My bad. Well, if we use the burn and die, we now burn and die. Go for the kill here, leaving auto roll for the next combat. Mechanical arm. Okay, we'll get that every time, basically, apparently. Even get the shop after this, so I don't know. Maybe we can pull ourselves out of the fire here. The fire I entirely put myself in by being a little short-sighted. Go for the lucky shot to try and lock the enemy out next turn. Okay. It's like a three or a four. Well, five, so it's a six. Sweet. Show me what you have, shop. Buster. Definitely busted there. Double dice value? Sure. Sure, because now we actually have something to invest high die value into. <clears throat> Buster Sword coming in clutch. Stop rolling an even and an odd. Please. Very important. Is there any way I can kill without having to lucky shot so I can heal up here? Four, five, four, five, four. Right? Yeah, that'll do it. Four, five, four. For some reason, I was like, four, five, four. Yeah, 14, because it has two fives and a four. Four, five, four. Right. I'm going to auto roll that, regenerate the HP, do that, then kill. Just because I really don't want to just eat it. Here. Not this soon. Not yet again. Especially when it's so definitely and so obviously my fault. Exclusively my fault. Should have invested in the mechanical arm first though. At least the enemy didn't get both effects off in the same turn.
I'm too skittish about whether or not I should use a six in a mechanical arm or even a four sometimes. At the very least, this time I decided to go through with the whole count. Make sure that I had lethal. Flip it eye upside down. Very happy to see that. Very, very happy to see that. Can't really use it right now, but extremely happy to see it nonetheless. Alright, vacuum. We definitely need this fight to go as quickly as possible. The longer the fight goes, the more health the enemy takes, the longer the fight will go. Both quite low values, I feel. No, that's... It's apparently not. Yeah, that was a four. This was either a one or a two or a three. It was a two, it became e Well, no matter what it was, it became even, right? Yikes. Okay, so three at the very end. Fine. Let's go straight for the kill. Knowing that I had the ability to level up afterwards meant that I didn't really have to optimize my HP there. No. None of those. And the thing we actually want to upgrade is not currently being held. It's the spatula. I think the spatula is like one of the most important things you can get for this character. Because then you can roll a bunch of ones and still get really high cost effects out of them. Can we... Game, please. Well, at least you only got one even. Okay. Flipped upside down again, getting another fight. Ah, I shouldn't have done that until I wanted the exact value, right? Shouldn't have lived it until I knew exactly whether I'd overloaded or not. Because I could have used that for a mechanical arm there at least. Need more things to invest high rolls into. Double this dice value, flip it upside down, hit, flip that upside down, heal myself, kill with the mechanical. Yeah, health isn't doing that great. If I fight through the dire wolf, I can get some healing. But also, I still have to fight something else afterwards, right? 
Uh, die wolf and then heal and then go back to the sorceress seems like the best play that I have to make here. Not really what I was looking for, game. Not really what I was looking for. Yeah, we're about to get cursed as well. No? I mean, like, I don't get another turn after this, so it's auto-roll, right? can't really do much. Alright, Die Wolf, claim your kill! Come on down! Claim your kill! Going for the Sorceress first would have resulted in me having less HP to come back with. So what I really needed there was force field to show up earlier, which is uh, gain shields, gain plus one shield every single time you've rolled this stuff. It's just the shield version of the mechanical arm that we keep finding. guess it was going to go as well as that, but pretty happy it did. Find me mechanical arm. Nope, the healing crystal. I'm really not seeing the value in these healing things right now. Seems like if you have space for them, take them. Otherwise, take anything else. I'm going to try and cheat some money out of the, uh, the sticky hands. Sticky fingers. Sorry, my bad. Ouch. Well, do you think I got a six with a ray gun? Could be a lot worse, I guess. Yeah, with all of our stuff being weakened, it's entirely possible we just are already locked out of this fight. Or not. That'll help. I'll keep the auto roll for the next combat. Should have rolled again for the healing crystal. I'm getting antsy because I'm like, oh, uh, I already lost this episode. Oh no, I need to do a thing. But that's, there's the force field, by the way. That's making us a little worse as well. Come on, take two gold. I don't have two gold. I'll get more gold back. Be lovely for one of us, I'm sure. Wait, the enemy doesn't attack. Why am I gaining shields? There you go. Yeah, I should be using this fight to heal up with the healing crystal. That's another thing. I should be thinking about the prioritization of fights over the course of the floor for whether or not like, I take a bunch of damage in this fight based around how much HP I have at the time. So I should do that at the end. We found that at the end of the last episode, especially. I sequenced this one good for stealing a little bit more money from you, but not, not particularly well for... 
for making sure that I knew... Oh, this is the point where I can heal up. Great. Let's go see this. Specifically... Oh, I should have rolled again. Ryan! Specifically left the enemy alive there. All right, sticky hands. Now you give it three gold back. One for killing you and two from the stuff you stole. Can I go on? And the shop. Can I take a spiked shield if I wanted one? I suspect not, just because of size. Now that I have something to invest the sixes into... I'll get rid of the ray gun, because that's basically the only reason it was there for us. Still a better turn for having used that early. Have to see it. It's probably like a two. Probably a one then. Yep. Previous was definitely a one. <laughs> Beautiful. Alright, baby squid. Should be able to kill you with basically anything here. Lovely. Little bit of HP on the way out as well. So we can hit not only an early upgrade, but also another chest. Sneezy fight, don't let me down. I can't throw away a six into the Buster Sword right now. What's a mechanical arm for two? I definitely can't let the enemy have another turn. If I need to auto roll to guarantee that, that's what we gotta do. Yeah, pretty sure we can do it without that right though. So we get to hold on to the auto roll again. Find fixed payout, not what I was looking for. The upgrade also isn't really on anything I'm looking for at this point in time. Like, force field, I think, just removes, yeah, the limitation. We can get two extra damage on the Buster Sword. Which I think we actually might need right now. Alright, Haunted Jaw. Hell yeah, I love rolling a bunch of dice. Mechanical arm for a ridiculous amount of damage. Even odd at the very end. That's hilarious. <laughs> Don't want to leave that with a small charge left on it or something like that? No? It's up to you, I guess. Yeah, I clearly needn't have worried. I mean, we did get kind of lucky. If the enemy didn't roll anything, they could poison with me on, uh, poison me with rather than the first time. Even once was trapped eternity. It doesn't have vocal folds. Where would the vocal folds be? Has to have a raspy voice like that, Spatula. Alright. I don't think we actually need the Spatula yet. It's when we get the next level up and get to start cooling down by an amount that we input, right? That's when it's going to be necessary.
Yeah, fair enough. Guess I could have done that turn. Oh, we take a hell of a lot of damage here, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, with the four and a four, we're going to refill our auto roll. Definitely use that. Final force field, because, yeah, I'm definitely going to be... Oh, a five. Hell yeah. From my position, that's the absolute best they could have rolled. Damn it. <laughs> so to get a healing crystal out there. Game did not want to play ball. A little bit more healing. Now we can run from this floor. Did we miss an enemy on a previous floor? Because I could have sworn that we would have been higher level here. Just slightly. Rolling all of these sixes is incredibly, incredibly bad for us. I'm not really going to uh, get us a good placing here at the end. Not gonna be on podium place. We're gonna be straight up in the dumpster behind the game. survive this fight at all. It feels like getting to floor four is like my hard limit a majority of the time here. I'm just gonna have to regen every single turn and hope the enemy gets really, really bad luck. That's uh, three evens this turn. Could have gone ham there if they wanted. Four. Five. It's a six. That was a five. Okay, so we have a five and a six here, so that means my final is two. Um, well, we got a one. Neat. Put that in the force field. Uh, I mean, I don't need to pop the bosses or with the six until then. Okay, no overwhelms this turn. Pretty happy to see it. Three or a four. Five, definitely. It's a six. Eh, I figured. I was locked out of that damage anyway. A game. Only one even. Very, very appreciative to see it. Three or four. Three. This is probably five then. It's four. So that's three. That's six. Okay, so I got a five instead. I think I was correct on the other one. Or a five and a four. Both of them were off by one, but we got the general kind of vicinity of them. Two. Four. Four. That 
was a three? Dang it. Still got the kill. In fact, both of those final ones were threes. Pretty pleased that we actually lived, though. Nope. Gotta kill this dire wolf so I can get out. Need the extra dice. Hell yeah! Now that's a productive turn. Healed by three, five shields, 16 damage. Everything utilized. That's what I'm looking to see. Yep. I am so, so glad that I learned my lesson earlier here because I was like, oh, to five, I could risk it so that I have the extra roll and... No. A one in six chance that I just instantly lose is too much. Beautiful. I am just so pleased with how that went. Uh, reduce the CPU counter by a certain amount is exactly what we're looking for. So now we put spatula and a heat sink in. Take out the healing crystal and the plasma blaster. This is the build that I won with in my own time. 18. Hang on. Yeah, rotten apple. No, wait, I, I do have enough to level up one more time by the end here. Didn't really get good stuff for... What? Locked some inconsequential die. Still got some pretty good stuff going on here, actually. Shouldn't have used the Buster Sword before I'd bursted there. Okay, this one locked some pretty important die to me, unfortunately. Can you stop rolling most of your die above the... What? Fives and sixes go more. Freeze it and then lock it. I do actually want my die frozen here, unfortunately happening. Not at least as I would like. I think that was going to happen. All right, I'll leave myself with the auto roll for the next. Stop it! How? How do you constantly have three die that are always fives and sixes? Then we flip it and reduce. Excellent force field mechanical arm. Just got a hell of a lot better in this fight. How? How are you doing that? Oh. All of my equipment is shot. Thank you. I really like that spatula and heat sinks were the things left 
unencumbered there. Alright, got through Aurora. It was an absolute slog, but we are alive. That'll have to do. Four two sixes? No. Double dice? No. Probably come back for the HP later. Noted the cheat code as well. Get some heat sink action going on. If I have any shield in this battle, the enemy can't kill me, right? Pretty sure that's the case. Because the Rotten Core doesn't remove it. Yeah, third's an HP, but doesn't remove the shield. I've had three rolls, and I'm still on zero. Love that. Again, so glad that I learned my lesson earlier. Heal myself? I mean, theoretically, but I don't want to risk it. Let's go for the kill. Rat King's going to be a problem. To the point that I might have to skip it, but if I skip it, I don't think I stand a chance against the boss. I think I should focus on healing during this combat whenever available. Healing and shielding medicine. Otherwise, this is going to be an absolute nightmare. Or more of one, I guess. Even. Odds. Buster. Yikes. Rolling a natural six as well as the ability to do Midnight Charm is... Uh, Lucky shot, though. If I can't kill that turn, then I just have to rest. I don't think I can beat the end boss on just six eight uh, on eight HP. It's absolutely essential. I try and kill the Rat King as well. Well put it there, one slinger. You did it. And you lived to fight another day. When that day comes, you'll lose for sure. Don't you worry about old cowboy. Heat sink being unlimited is very important. So I can just put a two in there instead. 
So if I can now put a two in there, I don't swap a five into a two. I think I get rid of that and I put in a healing crystal. And I think I do need to go for the fight. Is there anything in here that would now help us more? Not really, no. I know this is a rough fight. I know I could go straight to the boss, but going to the boss on 8 HP doesn't seem like a great idea. Really? Oh. Heat sink's literally not possible to use with this roll. Nor is the mechanical arm. The game is being uh, pretty mean to me right now. Really? Really? We got outskilled. You saw it. You have to be kidding me. You absolutely must be kidding me. I'm dead. I need to try and go for the roll and get the... Needed to try and go for the roll and get something else. Yeah, so the enemy managed to trigger all of their stuff on the first turn. Are they going to do it to me again? Three or more. So it could be a three, a four, a five, or a six. But... Exactly every time... It was a five or a six. Remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. That's like flipping a because three or five, uh, three or four wouldn't have done it. Five or six would continue the chain. That is, and the enemy did it ten times. So that's like flipping a coin ten times and getting heads every time. For the moment, my name is Rhapsody. This is the last episode of uh, Dicey Dungeons I'm going to be recording today because I need to go and take a nap. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. Hopefully we'll see you next time.